Welcome back to your Feel Good Morning right here with Espresso on SABC3. Now, today we've asked you to tell us on Facebook what you roughly spend per month on uh, petrol and what you do to reduce that. And uh, thank you so much for all the comments that you did send in. We will read them in just a little bit. Now, this morning we have the car guys from overdrivetv.co.za with us, Gavin and Chiro, to talk about two cars worlds apart. One much more fuel efficient than the other. The, the first, the Fiat 500, and then the huge Nissan Navara double cab guys good morning welcome to espresso morning, morning thanks thank you. It's first time on a monday morning for you yes, guys it is. Yes. feels a bit different but good to be here <laughs> love to see you in your book kit yeah, yeah i'm not on my book kit today <laughs> exactly. friday friday once again looking man. very smart yeah. <laughs> right okay. so two very different cars this morning indeed uh, i think let's let's kick it off with the fiat 500 the smaller one yeah and um Gav? yeah i don't think i don't think south africa is quite ready for this car i think okay. it's more designed for like sort of urban roam more than our sort of highways and the, and the daily commutes we're seeing on facebook there they're just a long commute the joe burgers in particular do mm. I'm not sure if it's quite designed for that sort of thing, but having said that, it is a wonderful little car. It really is cool. And I just think to the South African male eye, I think the styling <laughs> might be a little bit um, challenging. I think. <laughs> challenging. Yeah, the way it's, it's, challenging. Look, I, I like it. It's very retro and very modern at the same time, and it's it's, it's a really yeah. cool looking little car. Now, of the, of the two cars we have this week, the, mm. the massive double cab Bucky and this little Fiat, guess which one Gavin can't fit in? No. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I, I don't want to say the Navara. <laughs> no, exactly. But honestly, this car really is tiny. I must look ridiculous in it, but I had so yeah. much fun. But I honestly found myself driving with my head slightly really? cocked to the left because the luckily our, the one we have spec had the sunroof. Oh, no, don't so tell me. So, no, I didn't open the sunroof. <laughs> it wasn't that bad, but it did where the little alcove goes where the, where the sunroof is. Yeah. That's kind of where I found myself cocking oh, my no. head to one side. No. But so much fun to drive. Really a great car. Yeah, now the nippy little car. Absolutely. The original Fiat 500 would have yeah. had a little air-cooled engine, and mm. those make a certain noise. Maybe you think of an old Beetle or yeah, old yeah. Combis. Yeah. They've sort of got that rat-a-tat kind of noise. Yeah. I think they've engineered it in this car, and it's yeah. just got that brilliant little 1.4 engine, yeah. and it's all you need for the city. If yeah. you are uh, battling with fuel consumption, if you do a lot of daily driving in traffic, this is pretty much all yeah. you yeah. need for the city is a little engine like this. Uh, returning fuel consumption of about 6 to the 100, nice. uh, which is really, really good yeah, Incredible. around town. <laughs> and, and having said that, it's just such a, such a hoot to drive. I mean, I think the term go-kart is overused, so I'm going to go with turbocharged roller skates. <laughs> it really, really is. It's, it's phenomenally fun to drive. I mean, it, you can see every corner of the car, so you can see where the apex of the, of the corners are. Yeah. And I think the Italians, God bless them, always have a way of thinking, like, let's make the car fun first, and we'll worry about build quality after that. <laughs> so I think they realize yeah. that motoring should, at its very essence, be fun if you're going to spend okay. a lot of time in the thing. Okay. And, yeah, and it's got, as Chiro was saying, that exhaust note is wonderful, and it's just got this really buzzy sort of sound to nice. it. It's, a, it's like a Jack Russell on too much caffeine. <laughs> <laughs> I, like it. Well, I, don't, I don't have many complaints about this car at all, yeah. but the cup holders. Now, what, honestly, if you think about a cup holder, what does a cup holder have to do in life? Just has yeah. to hold, hold, a cup. hold your <laughs> beverage. That's, that's its function yeah. in the world. Can't do okay. that. So yeah. As soon as you go around the corner, everything falls out to uh, the left no. or to the right. right. Yeah. Note to self, don't use a cup. Maybe yeah. in Italy they have some sort of special cup. Maybe, maybe. It's just to hold, maybe it's just to hold espresso cup. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. Could yeah, be. It's all yeah. drink, yeah. Yeah, Listen, guys, let's move on to the Nissan. Absolutely. All right. Yeah, I, I, I tend to like this. If I wish this car was a bit more fuel efficient. I don't know what it is, but yeah, I, I presume it's pretty heavy. It's, it's not bad. It's actually yeah. not bad. Yeah. yeah. I mean, really? it does have the most enormous amount of power. This is, when I got the car delivered, the uh, driver said to me, this is a dangerous bucky. And I said to him, really? why? Is it, is it high on the hijack list? Or, you know, is it, what? <laughs> he says, no, too much power. And, <laughs> yeah, now, <laughs> and now we, yeah. we are, we are now, we have now finally entered the era of the half a million rand bucky. Yeah, yeah, the, one, the one we were driving is, is Five, spec. 520,000. Yeah. But having said that, it seems like it's, a, it's worth almost every cent of that, I think, for the most part. Um, it's got luxury, it's got, I mean, it's got rear facing cameras, it's got sat nav, it's got all of that, it's got an yeah. incredible Bose sound system. Yeah. And, uh, but it's only got luxury where it's necessary, which I quite like about it. It doesn't yeah. have leather seats, for instance, which I think in a bucket is a complete waste. Mm. So they've, they've thought things through a bit, and every part of it does feel very rugged and well made. So even though it's got a touchscreen sat satellite navigation system, it doesn't feel like it's going to yeah. fail. It feels rugged and manly as it should. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you, you sit in the thing and you think, am I by mistake in a luxury sedan that's maybe been built on a truck platform? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> by mistake. I, I have to sort of hop into the thing. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, but but, uh, uh, but the, the, the infotainment system is incredible. And I know, Gav, you ended up using the reverse camera yes, quite I used a lot. I used the reverse camera because <laughs> with the reverse camera, when you obviously when you engage reverse, it, 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 has, a, it has a view of the back, which is what helps because the car is absolutely massive. Yeah. And then so when you're reversing with the two massive rear view mirrors, it actually feels like you're reversing in widescreen. <laughs> I, I managed to make it a kilometer 
kilometre down a dirt road. In a reverse. kilometre backwards. A kilometre. <laughs> just you. It just, had to be you. Just, <laughs> just because I could. I thought I'm going to try this out. I don't know how he gets himself into these Me situations just to reverse. <laughs> Long driveways. Yeah. No. But um, if, you, yeah. if you do need the space and you do need the power yeah. and you do need to carry dirty things that you yeah. don't want to put in a car, yeah. because you do have the Pathfinder version of this, which is like an SUV, traditional yeah. SUV. Same yeah. car, same engine. Yeah. But the, the, our car is, to, is returning about 11 to the 100, mm. and I, I don't Which think I don't think either of us drive really gently. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> no, so I think that's very good. Guys, yeah. I'm going to have to stop you right there. Thank no, you so much for the chat. It. Appreciate it. Thank you. So Thank just you. one more thing before we yes. go. Have you heard about yes. the Mango promotion that they signed up with uh, Total, where they're giving away 1 million rand in fuel vouchers? I have now. Right, so we're going to tell you <laughs> all about, about that a little bit later. But first up, let's go read some of your comments on Facebook.